and we're rolling. DSG, we're a uh, ammunition developer specialising in supercavitation and underwater ammunition. We've got uh, patents in this technology which allow us to be um, unique in our performance. We've got uh, expertise which is uh, allows us to come at the ammunition development from a different perspective. So we understand hydroballistics. Um, we understand the way in which a bullet travels in air and water. And our bullets actually operate in air as conventional round, they're spin stabilised, but when they enter water they use the cavity to stabilise themselves. And uh, our 50 cal can run 60 metres underwater, um, our 762 can run 25 metres underwater, and our 556 15 metres. But this technology is completely scalable. It works it up to very large calibers, 127 millimetres. Um, we are currently working with uh, the anti-submarine warfare environment, where we are selling, uh, doing development work for navies, looking at hard kill torpedo countermeasures. And we're uh, using the 50, 20 and 30 millimeter, 50 caliber, 20 millimeter, 30 millimeter to kill torpedoes in the water. Right, and what do you see as the main application of this uh, in the small caliber ammunition for special operations use? Like, how do you see them employing it? Or it gives them the opportunity of being able to use the same ammunition in their conventional weapons uh, when they're firing, when they're working in areas that require um, uh, entry into water. That might be uh, diver protection, uh, attacking uh, offensive swimmers, maybe using uh, it to, uh, to kill patrol boats, uh, Special Forces groups are interested in using this to um, uh, deploy from a boat or from a, uh, a harbour to shoot into the hulls of small vessels so that they can kill the engines using um, either the 762 or the 50 cal. Um, the 762 can enter the water um, and uh, go through six millimetres of steel after going through eight to ten metres of water at very low angles. So all of these bullets can enter the water at as low as two degrees in typical sea conditions or seven degrees in smooth water, which means that it can be deployed by divers or by to, uh, to protect divers in a, uh, a boarding situation. Right, but they can, can they shoot from under the water uh, up on somebody who's above the water? Can they, if somebody's on a boat and they can be under the water as divers and, and shoot upwards and it'll, the bullet will come right through the water, up out of the water and... Uh, yeah, in fact, that's target. one of the ways in which they could use this would be to give their divers uh, additional protection. Um, a boarding party on a, a boat that uh, uh, has uh, pirates on board or has, has got some threat that they need to board, then the, uh, the, the diver can be hidden under the water, can uh, lay down a suppressing fire against the, uh, the pirates while his, uh, um, uh, his allies board the ship. Right, so he can be, in other words, he can be planking people from under the water. He, he, can, can, be, he, can, he can be 25 meters off the, off the ship, a meter below the surface, um, taking out the enemy on board the, the boat while his colleagues uh, board the boat without being shot at. Right, so all of a sudden rounds start coming out of the water at you. And he's got nowhere to, to fire back. And the alternative at the moment is that he's, that diver's got to be in the air, or he's got to surface, drain his gun, and then fire. All the time he's, a, he's an open target. So this is a way that he can actually save himself and he can protect his colleagues uh, using this ammunition and not all weapons work underwater but those that do all you've got to do is change the ammo all you've got to do is put uh, this multi-environment ammunition in the in the gun and you will end up with uh, a new capability uh, enhanced performance um, DSG DSG multi-environment ammunition thank you